Hi, this is Graham from Genom's Astro. The other night I was doing some planetary imaging of the planet Saturn, which is uh, from the UK, is currently getting quite low in the southern sky uh, in the evening. Um, I was using my ZWO uh, 120 MC camera, which um, as the name suggests, this model is the, the colour version of the camera. I was capturing some frames using uh, sharp cap. And as usual, I spent my time uh, adjusting the focus, the exposure, the gain, the sliders for gamma, etc., etc., until I was pretty happy that I've got a good uh, set of capture files stored away on the PC. Okay, um, everything looked normal. Um, I was thinking I was going to get some pretty good uh, results when I stacked the files in Registax. Um, the problem was that when I came to look at the files the next day, they were in monochrome. And uh, this is a bit surprising because when I was capturing them, uh, the shark cap was showing me a colour image. So this video, the purpose of it is to explain to you how you might end up with a black and white or monochrome um, file, AVI file, um, and the settings you can use to choose that or to avoid that, uh, depending on what you want to achieve. So here you go. Uh, this is um, one of the... Uh, files that I captured uh, definitely appears to be in monochrome. So I've put the um, all sky lens onto the front of uh, the ZWO camera and we're going to try and reproduce the problem uh, live. Um, I'm in sharp cap, although you can get the same issue with fire capture. Um, in neither case is there any problem with, the, uh, with either software package, it's just about the settings that you use. So hopefully uh, we've substituted this box here for um, Planet Genom. For the day um, and you can see that the screen is showing a uh, color image um, and over here this is really what we're interested in the color space is set to raw 8 um, so if we set the uh, shark cap to capture 100 frames um, let it run there for a second or two and then it will give us uh, the video so we look at the video straight away and we can see it's black and white. In fact, different to that, it's not only black and white, it has um, a sort of grid of a dot superimposed on it. Okay, so we've reproduced the sort of problem that I saw uh, with Saturn. So if we go back to Shark Capture, now this time we're going to select the color space to RGB. Uh, we still get a color screen, uh, color display on the uh, on the laptop, and now this time when we do another capture, capture another 100 frames, here we go, and this time the video is in colour. So basically that was the mistake that I made. Um, I was using the um, camera set into uh, RAW 8 mode. And finally, if you're going down the list of colour space options in SharpCap here, the next one is, is Mono, which I guess as the name suggests, uh, you see um, a monochrome image on the monitor and you get a monochrome um, video file if you if you capture that. Um, uh, the final option which we'll look at is is called RAW um, 16 but apparently that's um, if we look at the mono one a second so yeah as you expect it's mono and the final option is to do RAW 16 which really is for deep sky objects apparently so basically, I'd run the captures in RAW 8 and everything looked fine on the screen, um, but the file clearly wasn't colour and in fact it looked a bit strange with a pattern of dots. Okay, so what do we know about the three colour space formats and the files that they produce? Well, here they are, here are the, th the three files. Here's the RAW 8, the RGB24 and the Mono. Well, the obvious difference um, is the file size. Basically, the, the Mono and the RAW 8 file are pretty well the same size, and they're about one third of the size of the RGB24 uh, file, um, which we saw in color. Um, so what's happening? Well, if we look on Wiki, um, someone's very helpfully um, produced uh, an explanation of how a color camera is uh, like this one is working, like the 120MC. And basically what you've got is you've got um, the normal uh, sensor cells, but on top of that in a color camera you've got this thing called a Bayer filter, which is a grid of different colored filters, um, more green than blue and red, uh, arranged in this layout and um, 
basically what happens is a red filter lets through red light, a green lets through green, etc. And the camera then is able to rebuild, um, if it's got the right setting, um, a colour image from the grid of sensors based on knowing that certain uh, cells are, have been made sensitive to certain colour, if you like, by the use of the filter. So what's happening here is when you've got the colour space set to RGB24, the camera is building a colour image, sending it down to the PC and recording it in an AVI file. When we've got the RAW 8 um, setting, what's happening is that the camera is just sending the raw sensor data down to the PC. And we saw that with the, looks like black and white, but with lots of dots, um, sort of grid superimposed on it. But the good news is that when you're in that RAW 8 setting, that the camera does send down the color information um, with the file, but it's, it's not used on board the camera to rebuild a color image. So it gives us the hope that if you make the same um, mistake, if you like, or if you have a raw setting um, that you didn't intend to in, in, in the way that I did, you can use the raw 8 file. You can reconstruct a color video from it um, offline. And that's what we're going to try to do. So I'm going to use PIP, Planetary Imaging uh, Pre-Processing uh, application, although there are other options you can choose and I'm going to op open up the, the file we saw earlier of Saturn which is where we started where we ended up with a file that looked black and white. So in PIP in the input options you can select down here an option called Color Debayer which is basically us asking the PIP program to apply the same correction that the camera would have done um, if we told it to supply RGB video. So you, we're doing this offline. So we're telling the, the program to apply an algorithm. I always use bilinear. Um, and then you need to tell the program about the format of the arrangement of those green, blue, and red cells on your camera. So you can either look up what options you have. There's a series of options uh, for um, inside the tool. And if you don't know which one your camera uses, you just use trial and error. And you can apply this test options button and it produces, it changes the color essentially of the output file and you can carry on until you see something that you, uh, it seems about right. Um, and in the case of the ZWO um, ASI 120MC, it's GRBG. So when I apply that, I we start to get the sort of color that I saw on the video screen when I was using Shark Capture um, previously uh, and, and of course I thought everything was fine um, but it wasn't so what do we do then we go to do processing ask uh, pip to process the file to apply that color debayering um, so it shouldn't take very long it's quite a short um, file 700 frames and then it will apply that conversion and then we can have a look at the file and here we are so We've managed to go, we managed to save this uh, mistake. as a mistake originally in that I, I expected that the camera was outputting color video and it wasn't, but we've shown that if it's outputting raw video, we can use an offline program uh, like this to reconstruct um, uh, a color video, which we can then use um, as we wish, for example, in, in Registax in order to produce an image of Saturn. So hopefully it's been useful. Um, I try to point out some of the mistakes I make so that you can um, not make them yourself. Um, if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching.